for the first time ever in my life, I have done one thing every day for the past three months. What do you say? Hey, I'm Steve Cam, rebel leader and goofball from nerdfitness.com. And I'm so pumped to talk to you about this thing today uh, because it's the first time I've ever actually stuck with anything for, for three months. I am notorious and really good at procrastinating and getting started with things and then giving up on them the second they get too challenging or I get too bored or there's not a reward associated with it. Uh, I once used the Headspace app. Sit behind me and let's join breath. I'll stand. Interesting technique. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. It's about, uh, you know, it's a meditation app. After a certain number of days, you earn a new badge for your account. That one thing alone was enough to keep me meditating every single day for I think 50, 52, 53, 54 days, something like that. And then I missed one day and missing that one day was enough to derail me for six months. In fact, I haven't meditated since I missed that one day. Serenity now, serenity now. <laughs> what is that? So what happened this time? And what is the thing that keeps me, that I've actually focused on being able to do for the past three months, literally to the day, the past three months? Uh, it's writing in a journal. And specifically, I've been using uh, this thing called the five, the five minute journal. Uh, first of all, I'm not affiliated with them anyway. I, I met uh, UJ, the guy that uh, helped found the company at a conference, but this was two months after it already started using it. So that was kind of cool. Um, it's a very simple idea. I believe it's five minute journal.com five spelled out five minute journal.com. And it's this journal where you simply every day you wake up. The first thing you do is fill in the top part of it. And it says, I'm grateful for, and you write three things. What would make today great? Write three things and daily affirmations. I am blank. And then at the end of the day, for another two and a half minutes, you're supposed to write three amazing things that happened today. And how could I have made today even better? So I know there have been numerous studies out there that have shown that journaling and actively writing down the things that are great in your life can lead to overall increased satisfaction and happiness, less depression, so on and so forth. It's science. Uh, the thing I loved about this journal and the thing I think has really been helpful for building the habit is that they make it so simple and the barrier to entry so low that it's, it's, it's almost impossible not to do it. Do it! Like I have two and a half minutes this morning. So the first week I'd wake up and I'd look at the journal in like two and a half minutes. Like, okay, I am grateful for uh, this, this cup of coffee or this comfy chair or waking up on a Monday and being excited to work on a project at Nerd Fitness, something like that. And at night I'd lie in bed and the last thing I would do is uh, what am I grateful for? Or what was amazing that happened today? And I get to recount the day that I had had. And it's been fun to be able to look back over the past three months and remember specific moments or instances and remind me that like, hey, being alive is pretty freaking awesome. Like there's billions and billions and billions of people, some of them world conquerors or the smartest people on the planet that are now dead. And they would give anything, anything for a day to be alive. So it's a good reminder, I think for me to reflect on the fact that I'm alive, I have an opportunity to wake up today, and like that's a pretty good start, and I can build on that. The cool thing, like I said, the, the thing about this journal I think that has been really great for me is that it prompts you with the beginning of a journal entry, so you're not having to think of, oh geez, what am I gonna write about today? Uh, it has certain questions that you come to expect, and it's such a low amount of time that it in fact often spurs creativity or inspires me to continue writing, which I do with the rest of my stuff. So uh, if you're somebody that has struggled to build a particular habit or you're interested in journaling, I'd highly recommend you check out this, um, check out the five minute journal. I think it's like 20 bucks, uh, totally worth the investment. And after you get through it, um, you know, I'll probably either, either pick up another one if I run out of room or switch over to a different type of notebook and continue journaling. But the thing specifically that has made it so simple for me is the idea that it's only five minutes. I've noticed more and more that the habits I try to build, the more I build them up in my mind, the less likely I am to follow through on them. Don't! Oh well, I'll rob it next time. For example, see this violin over my shoulder? Uh, I struggled for over a year to practice the violin because I had in my head that I had to practice for 30 minutes every day. Just like, oh geez, I have to take the violin out of the case and I have to practice it 
for 30 minutes and I only have 25 minutes right now. So I just won't practice now, but I'll practice an hour tomorrow. And sure enough, the next day would roll around and I wouldn't have an hour to practice. So I wouldn't practice then either. And this went on for months and months and months and months until I lowered the barrier to entry. I told myself I only had to play the violin for, I think it was like five minutes. Like you just have to pick up the violin and play a song. That's it. That's all I had to do. Sometimes that's all I had time for. Or sometimes I was so not interested in playing, that's all I would do. But then there were other days where I picked it up. I played for five minutes and then I wanted to play for another five minutes. Later on in the day, I'd pick it up for another five and another five. And sure enough, even though I had previously set a barrier of 30 minutes that I didn't have time for, when I dropped the barrier to five minutes, I went ahead and picked it up and said, you know what, if I can play for five, that's fine. And oftentimes that five minutes turned into way more than 30 minutes spread throughout the day. So regardless of what you're trying to build, if you're trying to exercise and you can't get yourself to follow through on building the habit every single day, go for a walk. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Today, wake up and go for a walk, a five minute walk. All you have to do is put on your shoes and put your shoes across the room underneath your alarm clock. Wake up, step into your shoes, and you're already sleeping in your walking clothes or your running clothes, whatever it may be. Step into your shoes, walk outside, even if it's to the mailbox and back, that's totally fine. What's important is taking the action. And I guarantee at least a few of those times when you walk out to the mailbox, you'll be like, well, maybe I can walk a little bit further. I got all the way out here. Or as Yamish says in Braveheart, we didn't get dressed up for nothing. We didn't get dressed up for nothing. It was an okay Scottish accent, I guess. If you can't get yourself to the gym for a full workout, just tell yourself you have to walk in the door and do a set of push-ups and walk on the treadmill for five minutes. Something as low as that. That's all you have to do. Again, we're not interested in going all in for 30 days and bailing. What we are interested in is building the habit and making it automatic. I never thought I'd be a journaler and here I am 90 days in a row. I haven't earned any points for it. Uh, I don't get any rewards. There's no accountability. It started by me telling a friend saying, hey, I'm going to do this for the next week. And if I don't, you can call me on it and yell at me and you can donate money of mine to a political cause I'm not happy with. But after that week was over, now I'm looking forward to the activity. And that's been pretty cool. So like, it's something I actively look forward to every morning when I wake up. It's the first thing I do. And it's the last thing I do before I go to bed. So uh, whether you're checking out a five minute journal or looking to build a habit, we like to say aim small, miss small at Nerd Fitness. What did I tell you fellas about shooting? Aim small, aim small miss small. small. Aim small, miss small. Set the barriers so freaking low that you have no choice but to jump over it. So I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment below and let me know what kind of habit you're looking on building and how can you make it so stupidly simple that you have no choice but to actually freaking do it also make sure you subscribe below and check us out at nerdfitness.com i hope you join the rebellion see ya